Welcome back traders. Thank you for joining me. Ali Casey here from Sideways' channel. Today's video is about building a robust strategy on the S&P 500 index. You can do this on the SPY, which is an ETF, or on the uh, futures, which is the ES, mini futures, micro futures, or even the big contract. They all work. Really, the S&P 500 index is a mean reverting index, so I highly recommend you start building on it using uh, daily time frame i get this question many times people are frustrated with uh, building strategies really if you just start here you will be profitable build mere reversion strategies on the daily time frame on the s p 500 index and you will be profitable anyway let's jump in so before we start building i'd like to ask you to smash the like button Hit the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, share the video, comment below, do whatever to promote this channel. It really helps me continue providing this valuable content for you. And now that is out of the way, let's jump into SQX and start building. Okay, so uh, let's start building this. So I'll change my engine and let's pick the SPY. And I will pick the daily because we have uh, more data. And let's leave last three years as auto sample. Okay, good. And we'll do fixed 1000 shares and no slippage on commission. We'll see how that goes. Okay. So to prove to you uh, that uh, the S&P 500 is a mere version and not a trend following, of course, you know, we can do this in many ways. I have talked about this million times on this channel, but you know, for the sake of fun, let's do it. So I'm going to go long on in a simple pattern. So let's pick the pattern, which is the high of today is higher than the previous high. So very simple pattern. I don't want to optimize anything. Copy and let's paste and let's paste again so very simple pattern we just want three highs in a row today yesterday and the day before when we have three high days in a row we will go long that's a, a typical breakout long trend following whatever you want to call it and we'll have a simple exit after uh, three bars and let's run a full back test and let's just see what's happening here. So, you know, it's ugly and we have 139% uh, drawdown, but maybe we can fix this with a stop loss or with a filter. So since uh, I'm not a big fan of uh, stop losses uh, other than catastrophic stop loss. So let's see here if I, so look at this, this is 10,655. So maybe I can put a catastrophic stop loss at 6,000. So let's go back here. Stop loss. And 600 pips. So it's a little bit better. I'm still 118. But let's consider this is our uh, catastrophic stop loss. But I'm sure I can do better with a filter. So let me add a filter. Maybe. Uh, of course, uh, the SMA. So if the close greater than SMA, and let's say 100. Let's see if that uh, makes a difference. Uh, that doesn't. And let's see the opposite side. So we have a lot less trades. We're profitable, but you know, the return to drawdown ratio is 1.12, but you know, I get a better drawdown. So maybe, you know, this is good. Return to drawdown is really low, but now let me do the uh, same thing on the opposite side. So first let me compare this. So let's save this. This is uh, 1.12. And if I get rid of the filter, and run it, I get 
but you know, the drawdown is 118, so it's not acceptable. So it's 1.12, that's the best I can do. So now let me flip this when I'll go long because now we're looking for mean reversion. So I want to short when I have these three. And so let me switch this to short entry and this is long entry and short entry. I will exit again after uh, three bars and let's see what happens. So now I'm going short and as you can see, short is really hard to find on the S&P 500. So this doesn't work uh, on the short side. And even if I add the filter, so let's say the close. So, you know, we're still losing money. And let me see if it's lower. So total failure, correct? I cannot short and I cannot go long after three higher highs. So what about three lower lows? Okay, so now I just build the long entry after three lower lows and no filter and I'm exiting. Let's remove the stop loss, exiting again after three bars and let's see what happens. So it's already looks good. And you can see now, this is really a good uh, way to learn. See the other one, it was barely good and I need to work on it to enhance it. And since now we have better tools, better computers, I would rather that see something like this and work on it. Why would I waste my time and energy on really optimizing already a bad strategy? Well, I can start with this and it's already good. I mean, I didn't do anything. It's just lower lows. I'm really exiting randomly after three bars and the strategy is already doing well. And let me now add the filter. So let's see, close. And we had 2.33, the drawdown, uh, return to drawdown ratio. And this is better already. Okay, good. Now I'm making less money because, uh, but I did enhance my return to drawdown. And remember, in a portfolio, you don't really worry about this. You can always enhance, enhance this with position sizing on in a portfolio. So really, the, this is a really good indicator to go by because you want to reduce this to reduce your risk of ruin. So we already found a good strategy, really simple, extremely simple. That's what I like about this. That's how robust strategies are born. They are born with simple algo, simple instructions. Really, anybody can understand this. Oh, three lower lows. That means I am in a downtrend. Since it's mere reversion, then I expect to go back to the mean. So, but today we will do a little bit advanced uh, methodology. And let me show you how. So let me now save the strategy. So I'll save as uh, SP lower lows with SMA. Doesn't matter what we name it. And let me go to the optimizer and let's load the strategy. So SPY lower SMA done. And now let's optimize on uh well this is the strategy by the way so this is the strategy let's go full setting and let's pick our own settings manual and the exits and the constant we don't have any constant and periods okay so we don't have short exit i forgot this because remember we did the short exit here but in any case i can switch it off easily in optimizer so i switched it off here so let's do uh, the SMA from 50 to 200 at 50 and the exit, let's go from one to 10, step one. That's good. And let's optimize and see what we have. So long exit and long SMA period and let's bring uh, net profit so we can see that uh, we have uh, the longer the SMA the better and then the longer the holding period also the better which you can see that the uh, 
there is a concentration here and actually top view was much better so we can see here the concentration is here which is long uh, sma and long holding period and actually if we go to the system parameter permutation spp we can see that our strategy is really robust this is the median so the median is 109 profitable and i am i am less profitable that means i have the worst curve out of all the uh, all the curves same thing with drawdown same thing with frequency compound annual growth rate actually all of them are better <laughs> so really my my the 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 uh, the one I picked is really already robust because it's lower than, than everything. It's lower than the median of all. So that's already good. But what about if I want to pick a better, uh, let's say I want to optimize it. Okay, what's the better? So obviously this is better. The problem here is I don't know what's, like obviously this is the best one, but I don't know what, what's adjacent to it. So I need to go further. So, okay, we know below 100 is not good. And also maybe below six holding days is not good. So let's start from six holding days and 100 and maybe 50 uh, SMA. Let's see what, uh, what uh, so let's start from 150 to 500. And let's go from 6 to 20. And let's see. Yes. And let's do it. Okay. And this is amazing already. Yes. You see, it's all green. And probably here you can look at It's a jungle of green. <laughs> this is like Manhattan. I visited Manhattan and this is how it looks like. It's a jungle of buildings <laughs> and this is amazing. Okay, so you can see actually above 100, it's all profitable. In fact, 100, remember this is all profitable. I mean, the minimum is 140. We're just looking at what's the best net profit. So the minimum is eight days and 150 and that's producing 140,000 profit. And then the maximum is 260. So all of them are profitable. It's, it's not about, it's just finding which one is, is the best profitable. Now let's look at the drawdown. So a drawdown, here is the better drawdown. You can see this is the worst, and the worst is about 60%, and the best is about 20%, which is this one. So the lower holding period, six days producing the best drawdown, and then... 10 and 11 that's also good so let's stick in this area so if it's a surface i want to stick here and let's see so this is 10 is the valley so let me pick something in the valley i don't want to pick the peak but then anything uh, here is still in the valley so as you can see that this is 10 and then anything you pick is good. So let's pick something with more trades. So, okay, so we want, we know that 10 is good value and then all the SMA are good. So now let's focus on the number of trades. So number of trades. So remember, we want 10, so this is 10 and it looks like yeah so this is curve here so the shorter and this is like uh, opposite to what i think <laughs> because you would have think that the 150 day moving average should produce more trades than the 500 but you know it's opposite it's actually the 500 produce the, the better trades more trades yes not better trades so uh, 506 days is the highest number of trades. So then, I don't know, let's pick. It's, there is no peak here. They're all good. I mean, we can see they're all almost the same. So I'll pick uh, maybe 400. So 400 and 10 days. And so this will make this as 400. And... 
we will hold for 10 days and now we have 2.98 at 47,000 and now we're getting 9.16 return to drawdown so obviously huge a huge improvement uh, in profit and drawdown and return to drawdown of course more trades okay already a good job good job ali <laughs> i i enhanced the strategy enhanced the drawdown and has the, the net profit everything now the real test what will it do in the last three years 18 19 20 and actually we have six months in 2021 so finger crossed <laughs> and really i didn't do this test ahead of time so let's see what happens okay so uh reset dates and excellent of course obviously this is march and uh, let's see what's the drawdown in march so still that's very acceptable because the drawdown here uh if i can zoom here yeah this is almost 25 percent. that's the maximum so there you go excellent strategy and for the people who email me and who comments in the video that's you know they're frustrated and blaming sqx or other software really you should start with fundamentals stay away from intraday focus on daily time frame be profitable i'm not saying don't trade intraday i'm just saying get intraday out of your head focus on daily make money and then expand after you gain more experience more knowledge and definitely learn the fundamentals look you're gonna pay someone to learn hopefully somebody who's good because i know there are million courses out there and not all of them unfortunately are good it's a lot of scams on the internet this is normal this is not just now this is throughout history there will be cons and people conning you out of your money focus on finding somebody that you can learn from because either way you're gonna pay it you're either gonna pay it to the market and not learn anything or pay it to somebody and learn something and then make money so you know just my two cents so i hope you got some value out of this video really i wish to help everybody and if you get some value smash the like button hit the notification bell subscribe to the channel share the video comment below ask me any question through email or through the patreon link down below to get to discord really i host question and answers every week for now it's i started with an hour but now it's an hour and a half so i don't know but anyway it's really good i love i love these questions they really kick my brain and make the juice flow <laughs> and uh, so I, I really enjoy them i hope to see you there and if not you can email me or comment below i love to answer all questions and until the next video good luck with your trading good luck with your investing stay safe and i'll see you soon